I just love the sound of chords on guitar. It just makes me so happy. And I want to share five kind of secrets that I figured out um, through the years, through New York, through exploring, writing, collaborating with people. And we are talking about modern neo soul hip hop guitar. Indeed. What I'm trying to say is basically those lush sounds, you know, when you put them in kind of loopy context with some backbeat, that feels so good. For example, there's a boy inside who wants to get out. There's a man. Alright, so this is a song that is not released yet. It's one of my songs. I, we can talk about that too. But basically what I want to share is that idea of utilizing a few simple tricks, a few simple devices that you can really do right now with what you know. And I'll show you exactly how to go about it. And you can get that sound, that vibe. Ready? One. One note. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to choose literally one note. We'll take two examples, okay? I'll take the note F, because I like F. I do like F, F sounds like great. Such a beautiful sound. Just F as an F. Now, the idea of the one note concept is basically finding this one note <laughs> that you're having on top of each chord. Now it could be a million different chords, different colors, but I'm gonna keep that top note. Now, I'm gonna try a few options and then, pff, I wish you were here to help me with that, but uh, I'll imagine you're here and I can basically try and figure out a four bar progression with these chords that I like. Um, I'm gonna try and go for like kind of softer sounds, so I'm not trying to do like super harsh, Colors. I want kind of soft like you know stuff like that um, the reason I want that is because I feel it's very neo soul -y, hip hop -y. again of course it could be anything but this is what I'm feeling right now so this kind of soft vibe so I'm gonna use a lot of major 7 a lot of minor 7 9 stuff like that is a little softer versus you know 7 flat 13 and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing once we figure out the chord, I'll show you the voicing so it's really clear and you can just play it with me or play it by yourself. Alright, so we're choosing F. Now, I mean of course it's helpful to know a few fingerings so you can see like some shapes that work with that. Okay, D flat, major 7 works. I kind of like that first, you know, motion from that B flat major 7 over D, just this one. D flat major 7. Um, they are actually really far harmonically. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to go from B flat to D flat, but in this context, because the F is on top, it feels kind of soft. Um, we can talk about another reason it feels soft, because the D flat major 7 also an upper structure so in this case basically it's almost like playing B flat major 7 to B flat minor 7 because I'm playing this D flat major 7 here so it feels kind of basically B flat minor 7 9 which is lush AF all right so I kind of like these first two chords now I'm looking for another color so I can for example, go to another major 7 and see how it sounds. Not bad, but I kind of want a minor chord, so... Could be... No, sorry, that's not what I meant. No, too soft. Like that, so all right. I 
do dig this one. So B flat major seven, D flat major seven, G minor seven to A flat major seven. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of options, but at the end of the day we need to make some choices. So the way I see it when you write music there are all these kind of like split road kind of splits right and you're choosing to go this way or that way yes we can go to C minor 7 sus but I'm gonna keep you what we had because it was a vibe so I'll show you the exact voicing really slowly so B flat major 7 9 here from the fifth fret and also this PDF on patreon if you need it and D flat major seven, literally root position, F on top, and G minor seven, based on G, and keeping that F here, and then A flat major seven, literally the shell chord, but with an F on top, so getting the six there. Let me loop it for a second. If this is hard for you, do not worry. On point two and three, we go over quite a few of the options for playing these chords with one note, so you're all set, just wait. is that you can both hang in pentatonic world you can find kind of the common ingredient in this case I was just hanging F minor pentatonic literally just played F minor pentatonic um, and this this pentatonic is gonna work pretty pretty well on all these chords and you have that F that's kind of clean so it's gonna really work out but you can also go much more chromatically check it out What I was just doing is, is basically articulating the chord and playing some chromatic notes on top of it. The point of that is that we can really take the, that kind of chill lo-fi vibes and jazz it up and play all our you know, vocabulary of two fives and information around those centers and still utilizing the F minor pentatonic. All right, I'm gonna give one more example in F. Here we go. So this example I'm gonna give you right now is actually from a song I wrote recently and uh, the song is now on pre-save so if you want to help out that would be super awesome the song is called all we need and it's featuring uh, tana alexa on vocals and i produced the track i play most of the stuff i think adam is definitely playing some bass there um so the chords here are let me see how it starts there's a reason i is in your head it's a lock without the key to keep Yeah, so it's kind of the similar vibe, but the first chord here is F major 7. And then from that I'm going to F minor 7 over E flat. Kind of very soft sound. D flat up B flat major 7 to the D flat. So that sound of the B flat major 7 to the D flat is something I really like. I think I have different songs with that like kind of harmonic embellishment. Not necessarily in the same key, but just that sound I really like. So F major 7, F minor 7 or E flat, B flat over D, D flat. Harmonically again, we have F major 7-9, which is a beautiful, beautiful 
chord um, in my to my ears, and I love that the nine is is kind of lower in the bass. It's not a lot of times with jazz we hear the nine on top, just like on yeah, just voice on top. But here the nine is kind of low, so the major seven is on top, and then I'm going to F minor seven with the E flat in the bass, so it makes it makes it really soft. Because otherwise but this is fine, for me at least. And then you have that like, like this kind of like bass motion that is descending and melody that's like, the E, that goes to the F and then it kind of stays on the F. So for me it's still that like F pedal point in a way. for a second how it actually sounds with a song. You believe in what you see and say It's your right to misery There's a boy inside On these chord changes you can also jam F minor pentatonic or you can be more specific to the chords. I'm not gonna go through a solo right now. But what I'm trying to say is like, just grab a few chords and take one note that you can mess around with different harmony around it and see the colors that you can get through that. Now, let's say you have no clue what to do. All right, that's fine. So now check out number two, level two. All right, so here, what we're gonna do is kind of go over the options. So, I mean, I know sometimes it's not that easy. You're like, okay, cool, one note, but what are the options? So let's take one color. Let's take major seven and then see chromatically what are the options. All right, so let's start with a chord C major seven. No, oh, okay, C major seven. We said C, let's do C. It's a little intense. So this is C major seven with the F, so you get the four, the sus four there. So quite intense, it's a vibe. B major seven, ah, okay, that's fine. It's basically B major seven flat five, B flat major seven, that's legit, that's kind of casual. A major seven, Ooh, with a sharp five, nice. A flat, ah, that's nice, with a six. G major seven, that's a lot. It's G major 7 with a flat 7. It's definitely a lot. F sharp major 7. It's just a major 7, it's great. F major 7. E major 7. Now, that would be a lot. <sighs> yes. E major 7, flat 9. Just like the chord your girlfriend really wants to hear. Um, and then E flat. D is harsh too, huh? D major 7, sharp 9. Again, these are all legit colors, but the point is like, they're all optional, and you just need to see what you need. No, not all of them work for me, but maybe I like the D flat, I like the A flat, I definitely like the F sharp, that's like kind of casual, just a major seven. Okay, so even if we just switch, and I like the B flat, honestly, the B flat is also cool, just a five. So even if I just switch between those couple of chords, so B flat, A flat, D flat, and F sharp. Ah, the E flat is too, cool too. Mm, and the B, okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. How about we start from E flat? Mm. Now let me put the F on top. I changed the order, so I started with E uh, with the B flat. I'm only 
playing major seven now. I'm not even trying to combine it with other chords. I'm just showing you like, okay, we have one note and we didn't do inversions yet. So even if we just use root position, literally shell chords, you see it, right? You can get so much. And even if it's a little intense, song really intense I'm not saying you have to but the point is like you can make these choices and find the chords you need level three what we're gonna do right now is kind of the same idea but let's do with minor hmm? how about that so I'll take C minor to start with okay that's kind of sound great C minor basically sus4 B minor Basically, I'm getting B half diminished, and you see, I'm really trying to just kind of use the shell chord shape. Nothing fancy. B flat minor is B flat minor. A minor flat six almost sounds basically kind of like F major first inversion in my ear to my ear. A flat getting intense here. It's definitely a lot, but also fine. It's like you know, it's legit. Adding the six G minor, seven on top F sharp. That's some harshness for sure. F minor, that's fine. E minor is gonna be a little much because you know I'm playing E minor flat nine. Just, that's a lot. E flat minor, it's beautiful. D minor. pretty disastrous to me but also you know if you had a disastrous day and you want to express it there you have it C sharp minor with major third <sighs> a lot but you know sometimes that's what you need but let's choose the ones we like I did like this one I like the E flat I like the G minor for sure and kind of the A flat too. Let's see what happens if I just mix those. Maybe different order. C minor, B flat minor, A flat minor, A E flat. C minor, B flat minor, A flat minor to E flat. Check this out. That works for me. Again, your song do not have to be with one note on top, but it's just like a way, it's a device to try and figure some sounds and of course it could have the first couple of bars like that and then go to another place but the point is like finding common tones between chords kind of makes the transition much softer and much nicer. So try it out. So number three is basically inversions. How about we take another note, except F, I heard about this other one, G. So I can take a chord, for example, C minor, you can have a G on top or not have it, and then B major, first inversion, G on top, B minor, first inversion, G on top. I can keep descending. Check this out, C minor with the wobble, huh? G minor and A sus. Okay, so 
so I mixed it a little bit, right? So I cheated just a little bit. I took the idea before of major seven, so we have a flat major seven to D minor seven sus again, G on top, C minor, G on top, and then I played the inversion. Just a different color, so it's not always major seven and minor seven, so it's just like a little different color, and then I love that inversion vibe. So it's G major first inversion to G minor first inversion, and then I actually played A7. Which just gives it a whole different flavor because we didn't meet seven chords until now, or at least dominant chords. You can of course use any color, but just like But it's cool too. I didn't play that though. that you can take stuff you know or stuff you want to know like the triads, the inversions and say okay let's figure out what's this note okay this is G what chords contain the note G okay G major first inversion C minor first inversion that works too how about E flat mm. kind of loops even just based on tries one three five and inversions or mix them like I just did before and you can also break the rules like rules are there to be broken you know taking concept one note two notes triads common tones all these ideas that I'm kind of throwing here and try to mess around with it and try to write something. And I think like a lot of people are afraid of writing, are afraid of trying stuff out. And what I say, like, just do it. You know, just take the guitar, write four chords and try it. Maybe try a different order for these four chords. So yeah, let's just do it right now. Five. All right, so you have the chord progression and you kind of like it, but you don't know how to explain it. So what I would say is try some rhythmic things, nothing crazy, just try to groove with it. And once in a while, you know, you can change the inversions. Let's take the first progression we had, which was B flat major seven, first inversion, D flat, G minor to A flat. But now instead of keeping that F on top all the time, I'm gonna just mess around a little bit. So what happens if I go... Okay, so what I'm doing is the same shape, the same voicing, that B flat major seven over D. So I'm doing D flat major seven over and I'm getting, of course, a different melody. And then I'll do G minor. And then A flat. So I'll get this. And what happens when I actually record for people and record my own songs, Oftentimes I'll do a bunch of layers of guitar, so I'll do like maybe a really simple one. And then I'll do one more in this area maybe, like the one we had before. And then maybe I'll start exploring. So... Basically, like trying to find ideas, some melodic things that kind of makes your ear uh, say like, oh, this is a little different, this is new, but still within the context of the chord. So I would oftentimes just like kind of hang in this. crazy I mean you don't need to do the tapping whatever this is just like three notes it doesn't matter the point is like it's just like some inversions Basically 
trying to kind of function as as you know a little band you know you have the bass you have the melody you have the chords and like just playing around with it and i think bring things from like okay this is the chord progression that's it into a place of happiness is really important so i guess the point of this is just like try to own it you know and try to explore it in a way that's exciting for you and really cool thanks so much for listening thank you for hanging in the channel um it means a lot i hope you know i i bring some joy and interesting ideas to your life and thanks again um, for supporting. Thanks again for being on the Patreon. It means a lot and actually allows me to do a lot of these things. This album that is coming up soon and the song that I told you or asked you to uh, pre-save. You know, all this stuff really wouldn't be able, wouldn't happen without all your support because I just wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.